Well, Fulton Hogan is certainly a New Zealand success story, and it's what they're doing in that infrastructure skill centre that's really inspiring Kiwi businesses. Let's go check it out. We've got a huge skill shortage at the moment, especially at entry level, and with this programme it actually gives them a good understanding of the whole of the infrastructure sector. This is the first time this has ever happened in New Zealand, like this, a programme like this has never been created. They've been employed first and they're also getting paid to be doing all the training. So all our participants are all MSD clients and how the programme works is that they're going to be in for a six week programme. This week is their second week and they're doing concrete. They've been tasked with building a bridge with lots of materials, but the team has been separated out and they've got to do it via cell phone. Yeah, but we could, we could combine your idea with the halving of the paper and using that as foundations. How it worked is that um, civil contractors in New Zealand, they went out and said, look, this is happening, put your hand up if you want space, and all the companies put their hands up and then we set up speed interviews with all the, with all the companies. Within an hour, like that interviewed, it was about 25 people. What do you hope to see come out of this? My ideal would be they've thoroughly enjoyed what they've done. They've gained all these skills that you would have never have got before. Next week we're going to have a chip seal truck. And then spray some bitumen and then lay some chip seal down. And then we'll have an asphalt truck there putting the asphalt down and they'll be actually doing it. The week after that they're learning about drain laying. The week after that is about pavements. And then there is temporary traffic management after that. So they're going to get a taste of everything. And then put the other two ends on the part that they They really got on so well and they are supporting each other as well. The first week was all about reversing trailers, hooking them up safely and reversing um, through, through cones. And one of the guys said, oh look, I don't have my driver's licence. And he said, I've never reversed a car, let alone a trailer. And the, the trainer said, look, you'll be fine, just I will show you how to do it. And then a couple of the other guys said, oh, why don't we just you know, put them out in the yard and put cones out there and teach them how to parallel park. So everybody's having turns about it, taking them out there in, in a vehicle and actually giving him driving lessons. Like yesterday, Angus had, with all, had all the cones all set out and made them reverse and then a figure eight using his mirrors. And the great thing was that they made me do it too, which yeah. it was like, oh, okay, yes, I need to do this. I need to lead by example. Yeah. So I'd love to see some of these guys as department managers within, their, you know, within 10 years' time. There's no reason why they couldn't be. Some of our competitors. Some of them are just pole companies, whereas we're not just pole companies. We're probably more of a solutions provider. We make um, street lights, we make uh, telecommunication towers. We've done a radio mast that was probably about 150 metres that went into Wellington. We did one of those for Salmar as well. I'm the general manager for Spun Light Poles. So we manufacture a lot of steel infrastructure products. Something that we're really big on is that lean manufacturing principles work in a single piece flow methodology. So if you look around, there's actually nothing work in progress sitting here. Everything's being worked on. So the business, it used to build up large numbers of inventory and then process that inventory. So you had like these trolleys here, you'd have 10 of those sitting around the place. Now we just have one. So we're only working on one job, one unit at a time. That gets finished and the next one goes into the line. It's just a continuous flow. Because the, the advantages that we get keep us competitive against an import product. We, we are the underdogs. Let, let's face facts. We are the underdogs, right? We are New Zealand and we're a small country at the bottom end of the world and we're competing from our perspective in our markets. We're competing against big corporates, right? They are billion dollar companies. What would you say to, say, a government sort of procurement manager if they had the choice between overseas manufacturers and Spunlight? They should look at the life cycle costs. Like, there's, there's a fallacy in the market at the moment that thicker steel is, is better. That's just a fallacy, right? That's because the people who import steel are using a lesser grade than what we can get from New Zealand steel. Then secondly, we're still fixing lights that we manufactured 40 years ago. So they come in and then we refurb them. That's 40 years old. That's what they should be looking at. So the robot um, was put in about 14 years ago. It's just getting an upgrade now. It's got suckers. 
so when it, it needs to be able to suck onto the entire piece of sheet. Loads it in here, picks it up and puts it to the guillotine. The guillotine cuts it, takes it over to the press brake, folds it into its section, puts it on the feed out tray and then feeds out the end to these guys. Where possible, we will try and manufacture using New Zealand made. So poles should be New Zealand made. But then if there are other products within, say, the big projects, the big roading projects, that actually it'd be a good idea if they actually imported some of that. Now we have some incredible strategic partnerships with companies around the world. We often have companies actually come to us and ask us, hey, can you go and solve this? We'll talk to our partners around the world and we'll figure out, okay, hey, look, this, this has come up. And invariably they've already seen it somewhere around the world and they give us the solution and we give that to our customers. I think that's why we do reasonably well. We're not just here to sell you a pole. It's actually more about providing a solution. We employ around about 80 people, we feed 80 families, that's the way we like to look at things. People should be proud of buying New Zealand made. The quality will be exceptional. The price may be a little bit more, but hey, that's what you get for quality. Well that's a wrap for this series of a Kiwi Original. But we'll be back very soon with more inspiring Kiwi business stories. Kakite.